In the years leading up to and during World War II, a secluded facility in the Pingfeng district of Harbin, China, became the epicenter of some of the most covert and controversial activities of the Japanese Empire. This was Unit 731. Established in 1935, Unit 731 was led by the enigmatic Shiro Ishii, a medical officer in the Japanese Army. Under his guidance, the unit was tasked with researching biological and chemical warfare, but the methods they employed were far from ethical. Thousands of men, women, and children, primarily Chinese, Korean, and Russian prisoners, were subjected to experiments that defy humanity. From forced infections with diseases like bubonic plague and anthrax to vivisections without anesthesia, the horrors that took place within the walls of Unit 731 are chilling. But the unit's activities weren't limited to the confines of their facility. They also tested their biological weapons on Chinese populations, leading to outbreaks and countless deaths. Flea bombs filled with plague-infested fleas were dropped on cities and wells were contaminated with cholera. The international community remained largely unaware of these atrocities until the war's end. When the truth began to emerge, the world was horrified. Yet, in a twist of realpolitik, many of the scientists and officials involved in Unit 731 were granted immunity by the United States in exchange for the data they had collected. This controversial decision was driven by the Cold War's onset and the U.S.'s desire to gain an edge over the Soviet Union in biological warfare research. For decades, Japan remained silent about Unit 731. It was only in the 1990s that the Japanese government acknowledged its existence, offering a muted apology. The legacy of Unit 731 serves as a grim reminder of the lengths nations might go to in the name of scientific advancement and military dominance.